In this video I'm going to show you how I mocked up the suspension and, and built it. Uh, but first I'm going to just show the installation of the motor. Um, my son's helping me uh, install this 150cc scooter motor. It has a transmission everything built in. And it has three points to mount. I made the mount on the right side removable so you can take the bolts out and slide the engine into the side and in a later video I'll show you how I wire this thing up and and get it all hooked up but uh, for the rest of this video I'm going to show you how I put together the suspension now, I use these wheels here they're not the best but uh, they're I could afford them and I could find them fairly easily I mocked everything up out of wood first so I could try to get an idea of the height and the position for the shock absorbers. I'll end up using four eight wheels on each side that'll be uh, each one will be opposing each other uh, to run through the, the track. So I cut all the uh, steel, the steel I use for the uh, the legs is a heavier gauge steel. I think it was the 1.80. And this is how I cut the, uh, just made the, the hangers round. And here it is mocked up out of steel. And so the next thing was to weld it all together, try to get it uh, welded up. Now I wanted to use bushings for all the joints, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I can't find the things here, and uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. So what I'm going to end up using is just bolts with the steel and a lot of grease. I use spacers, and the spacers, since I'm using the same size metal, it's going to allow me to put washers on each side of the, uh, of the, the pieces so that they'll be able to move without... Um, wearing into the uh, to the metal structure. I'll, I'll have washers in there and then I'll, I'll grease the washers and have that as my spacers and and then a bolt that runs through the middle of that. So these are the main legs, the supports here that uh, I welded up. And these are the the legs for the wheels. Now after I finished welding these up, I went ahead and put everything together to test fit everything and I ended up needing spacers for the shock absorbers so they don't rub the main structure. So here it is, all, all bolted together. Here's the spacers I used. I just made some out of some half inch uh, steel tubing. Okay, this is how I built the, uh, the axles. I used two 5 8 inch bolts. And on the, the feet here, I drilled a 5 8 inch hole and then I notched that out. And then I welded the two bolts together with a washer in between and that gave it uh, the exact width I needed to, to slide in the end here perfectly. So I slide them in the end, weld them up, weld caps on the ends of them. And that's how I made the, uh, the axles. Here it is installed. I got everything all painted. And, and I'm going to test it out. When I tested it out, it looks like my shocks are a little weak. I could either add an extra shock set of shocks to the back. Or I could try to find uh, some heavier duty shocks. So I'm going to look into that. And uh, I'll let you know what I, what I do and in a later video so but they work the suspension works and we'll see how it goes thanks for watching